go, that's the kind of first part of the warm-up done. Now we're going to do some strides and a little bit more, I guess, activation in a way just before we get into the session. bit warm today but I guess that's a good thing as well as we constantly say you know don't let the weather dictate your session because you never know what it's going to be like on race day but yeah we're gonna have little kids to kind of dodge around but today's session I forgot to actually mention it to you we're doing four to six by 1.6 kilometers reps at uh, threshold well just under leaf um, threshold and uh, so probably 90 second laps and then uh, we'll do some more speed work, 400s or 200s. Right, you know when you've got a session and you're just delaying starting and the warm-up gets like extended and extended and extended, well, that's what I've been doing, but let's go. Let's finally start this. That's halfway, three reps done. I'm feeling it already. Five done. Can we start the last one or not? three I was like I'm definitely gonna do four at four I was like okay I'll do one more at five I was like well I was gonna quit but Emma said go no honestly but I was gonna do it anyway but uh geez hard work and now we've got to switch on to doing those 400s in about 76 seconds so that's gonna be quite tough
got the 4x200s left. Ha. Get in. Well, uh, hard but easy but tough but fun but yeah oh gosh super happy with that we did it all six by 1.6 kilometers one minute rest between then four by 400 meters then two by 200 meters with equal amounts of rest and everything and yeah feeling good feeling strong feeling you know accomplished that i did it i knew in the back of my mind as well that this whole next week i planned a little bit of an easier week so why not set out, accomplish the thing that I wanted? And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. But now it's like really important just to keep the legs moving, do a little bit of cool down. You know the drill, I don't know why I'm telling you, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. And I tell you what we'll do is we'll catch up once we're back at home and uh, we can go through a few of the little stats, you know, power, heart rate, whatever you want. You can leave down in comments what you want me to review when I'm talking about my running because you know, we all look at our running in different ways. How did I feel? Did I enjoy it? I know Thomas will like that, and I know Hannah will like the power, but I'm gonna continue on with my cool down, do a few laps, and then jog home. What a great session that was, and as you can see, I've been refeeding, relaxing as well. But I find really important, as soon as I get home from like a big session like this, is not to go and sit down straight away. I think there's a funny ultra running meme that says, you know, it's a worse decision after a sort of heavy run. And so, you know, doing the dishes, doing some cooking, all those sort of things, pretty good things to do. And uh, look, I'm not going to go through the statistics, as I said, just towards the end there. I think like I put them all on the screen and you can also go to check out my Strava. Link is down below. And then if you've got any more specific questions, you can always ask them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer. But what was quite good in this shoe, the Adidas Adizero Pro. So it's a car Adidas's first carbon plated shoe. Um, it was pretty good, I quite enjoyed it. So I've put it through quite a few tests recently, marathon pace session, uh, kind of threshold workout session on gravel roads and then now on the track and we've already reached 75 kilometers, so maybe one more run in them just to get a little bit more of a feel and then we'll have a review for them up real soon. Also got a review for the Saucony Rides 13s also coming up. But today's run was like a real good, you know, solid uh, confidence boost and also I'm sure it'll be good for the body. I'm not destroyed, which is great, you know, and we live to run another run and um really push on towards the goals that i've got i find it really how do i how would i explain like rewarding to go out and do these and you know chasing something that you really wish and desire and uh, i'm really proud of myself really for putting in the dedication doing the research and um working hard you know you have to work hard for it as i said at rep three, I think I was ready to stop doing those 1.6 kilometers, but uh, I pushed through and did it. And those are the moments there that will help you uh, come race day or whatever situation that you're in, you realize, hey, you know, you've got this, you can get through it. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said, any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you're not subscribed already and you've made it to this point, I really do think that you should hit subscribe because well, you've enjoyed the content so far and it really helps me as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.